So, not too much to report on as far as the first day of the first test between South Africa and West Indies is concerned. 45 for 1 after Temba Bavuma won the toss and elected to bat, unsurprisingly. And then after 15 overs, the rain came down and they have not returned, so it is stumps. The Sawzi looking good, 32 not out or 52. I like how he's taken on the bowling when the moment has presented itself. Um, Aidan Markram was struggling a bit, 9 of 34. Bowled by Jason Holder, his first ball of the match. 1 for 2 of his 1 over. And then Tristan Stubbs is with the Zorzi at the crease on 2 or 5 deliveries. So nothing to write home about really. Unsurprising, like I said, that Bavuma chose to bat um, the Queen's Park Oval in Port of Spain has the highest first innings total average of all the grounds in the West Indies. But the real talking point is the team. Now, if you go back to my video when I predicted the starting 11, I was only one off. So I'm quite happy about that, but I'm not happy about the fact that we went the conservative route and decided to go with an extra batsman. So Verain is in, and Nandre Berger wasn't selected. Now, you need variety in, a, in an attack, and he's quick, fiery, left arm, quick. I don't know. Um, seems strange to me, especially against the West Indies. Do we need eight batsmen? I mean, Vian Mulder is batting at eight. And then the bowling attack looks a bit same old samey when it comes to the seamers. You know, Ngidi, Rabada, and Mulder, all right arm. Uh, Mulder's medium, Ngidi, medium, fast, and Rabada, fast, medium. So we don't have that out and out quick. So a little disappointing on that front. I'd rather even just go with Berger instead of Mulder, have the seven batsmen and four bowlers, you know, like the great Australian team did back in the day. Gilchrist batting at seven. Um, I think this is probably a result of our terrible batting woes in Test cricket over the last few years. And maybe also against the West Indies, and we don't need four front-line bowlers. But I don't know. Uh, Berger's one for the future, and he should have been playing. Anyway, hopefully we have more play on day two.